Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate MailChimp with Facebook. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at MailChimp.com uh, or log into your existing account and once you're greeted with your workspace, let's go to the left sidebar and click on integrations in the middle of your screen. Uh, once we are here, as you can see in integrations, there is Facebook. So we can click straight away on uh, Facebook and click connect. Uh, you'll get redirected to your Facebook page or Facebook account at facebook.com. And basically you just have to allow uh, MailChimp to connect to your Facebook, uh, Facebook account. We can also use third party applications like it's automate.io. I will leave the link in the descriptions underneath this video. And we can go to integrations on the top side of our screen and move to the bottom left part and see all categories in this pop-up window. Once we are at, at app integrations, we want to search for MailChimp like this. Once we are at MailChimp, uh, we have to uh, pick the counterpart, which is Facebook. Now we can pick from a couple of uh, a couple of options like Messenger for messages, or Facebook pages, uh, custom audiences or lead ads. Facebook groups will be coming soon. So we click on Facebook pages. As you can see, there are all, uh, already some popular integrations between those two. But if we won't be able to find the one that we are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, Underneath the triggers on the left side, even though uh, the Facebook is recommended first, we want to start with the MailChimp. I'm going to start with the first one, uh, first one MailChimp option. On the other hand, on actions, uh, MailChimp is first, but uh, let's go uh, and uh, switch Facebook and pick Facebook first one or second one. It's completely up to you. What do you need? Uh, now we just have to click on try it now button and uh, once, once you uh, log into your automate.eo account you'll get asked to basically allow this integration to happen between those two and you are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use Zapier.com which is very similar app to, to automate. We can. Uh, we have to also. Uh, we have to also create an account here, and let's go to the top left corner and click on Make a Zap. Now, first trigger for setting the trigger will be Mailchimp, like this. Now we have to choose the trigger event from all the Mailchimp options, like New Audience, for example. Continue. Now we have to log in to our uh, to our MailChimp account once again, continue. And now we can test the trigger between MailChimp and Zapier. On the second action, as you probably thought, uh, we gonna write down Facebook. So as you can see, there's offline conversation, messenger, custom, ad uh, custom audience and so on. But let's stick to pages, uh, create a page photo, for example, continue. And the last thing is, uh, just to sign into Facebook. So if the new uh, audience in MailChimp, for example, appears, it will create a page photo in Facebook pages. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.